student good morning everybody welcome back to our course i'm your host abdul rahman and we are going back straight into our gc o level paper today is your lesson number 11 and we will be tackling test number 11 of part 2 test number 11 had always been reserved for language proficiency this will assess how good you are in your language skills and also your knowledge in that for example usually you are given a passage this passage is a type of a closed passage where the first line and the last line are left as it is and in the middle lines every fifth word or the sixth word is taken out and put it into a box above you have to choose the correct word from the above and fill in the blanks this passage filling looks to be very easy because you have only 14 words and you get seven marks half a marks for each to fill in these blanks but children remember when filling up these activities you should have a sound knowledge in your grammar it can be the tenses or conjunctions or prepositions articles whatever that is needed also you should have a sound vocabulary and be able to guess which word would fit where i would suggest to those of you who are a bit weak in this activity to try and match the easiest word that you know to the blanks first suppose you are given an array of 15 or 16 words and you know the meaning of one or two words try to fit it into a sentence and see if that makes a complete and meaningful sentence also you could try some other ways for example if the word is given as is or are a r e or is you could try and see if there are a verb that is ending in ing format or is it a participle verb format and try to guess it as well try to see if there are nouns that you can fix into separate places and for the tough words keep it aside and try to fix it later based on the general meaning of the sentence you might be able to fill up most of the words and in that case i hope that you will get full marks as well a small tip as well try to find the type of article that is used before the blank if the article is a usually the sound or usually the word that follows has the first letter as a consonant or otherwise if it is an it would start with a vowel letter or have a vowel sound this way i hope that you would be able to fill in these language passages now my dear children when you are writing these answers back to me please write it as a passage so that it will be easier for me to correct if you type it make sure there are no spelling mistakes as well if you just mark the answers as 1 2 3 and 4 i do not know for which answer you are marking what so make sure my dear children when you are writing it back to me to make it into a close passage as well so that it will be easy for you i would like to give you some activities and it will be displayed here as well and those activities should be done by you and sent to me and i would like i would be discussing the answers and how we got these answers later on today see you bye bye